Well, since Hurricane Ike crushed the Texas coast eight years ago, the Houston area's population has exploded. In Harris County alone, there are more than 600,000 new residents. In Montgomery County, it's 125,000. Galveston County, 40,000. And Fort Bend County, over 200,000. That population boom is worrying some emergency managers. Fox 26's John Donnelly is live along Bray's Bayou. John, what's the concern? Well, they actually have two concerns. They've got two situations here. You have a bunch of people who've lived here for a long period of time, and they've seen a lot of stuff, and then you have these new people who haven't seen anything. So you have a little bit of apathy, and you also have some inexperience. You say Harvey in Cade Suddeth gets goosebumps, really. And you really can't blame him. The Woodland Heights resident has seen some stuff when nearby White Oak Bayou has misbehaved. The biggest flood got all the way to the top of the porch. Uh, an ominous flow of water that's very scary and it puts you on edge and, and you never get over it. He and his wife lost two cars that time, never again. Every time it rains, if it sprinkles, we move our cars to higher land. But not everybody's memories have faded. Since Ike, a lot of people have moved to the Houston area, roughly 1.5 million, more than the entire population of Phoenix. Many of those newcomers have no frame of reference. So here's what they want everyone to know. Yes, storm surge should be minimal. Yes, so should wind damage. But the real danger will be flooding, so much flooding potential. Mayor Turner acknowledged as much in front of city council as he warned Houstonians to stay off the roads. Starting on Friday, Friday night, in particular going into Saturday, um, the weekend, um, try to minimize your travel. I think people know. Uh, certain areas or streets, intersections that are prone to flood. So, you know, please exercise a lot of common sense. As for Cade, he and his wife plan to stay somewhere else for the duration of the storm, head for high ground, and hope for the best. But it's never gotten in the house. Well, hopefully their luck will hold, and a lot of people are hoping luck is going to hold and the bayous are going to stay within their banks. But, of course, right now, we simply do not know. No matter how good our forecast models are, Mother Nature always gets a vote. We're live on the southwest side. John Donnelly, Fox 26 News, your Gulf Coast Weather Authority.